as the red silhouette of Eomas falls into the glowing pool from whence it came. Ultimately becoming one with the mist, you wrestle with your wandering imagination to keep your thoughts in check. Still, you find yourself comparing the man-turned-legend to what you'd imagined him to be before this experience. Is it possible that even your perspective had been warped by the trials you faced? Is all history so tainted by mortal minds? You slowly steady your thinking and refocus on the present. Surrounded by a thick mist and the blooming glow that gave this elven queen the power to call back those who have crossed over into the afterlife. What's up, guys? Welcome back, uh, all two of you, uh, Will especially. And I think I'm the second. Thanks, glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> glad to be a part of chat, huh, Will? <laughs> For anybody watching, we're happy you guys are here. Um, and you know, more than anything, just happy to be hanging out with friends, playing some D&D &D after a long day of work. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Everybody's seen the intro, but to give our cast a quick recap, um, Eomos has just uh, become one with the mist again Before as he's... Before you finish that. Uh-huh. So there's a lot of these names that sound similar. Right. Who is Eomos? Eomos <laughs> is the prophet, the tiefling from Zealous. Got it. Okay, I'm good. The, the world eater. Got it. Supposedly. Supposedly, yeah. yes. Okay. Um, he has once again become one with the mist as he's disappeared into nothing before you all, um, leaving uh, Eleniel, uh to her mourning um, and the loss of her daughter, Sylph, but also the inability to contact her. What would you all like to do? Why can't she contact Sylph? Um, it hasn't really been made clear. Be yeah, it's just kind of implied that maybe she tried, she's not dead. Yeah, she tried and it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. She tried and it didn't work. Got it. It didn't Alex, work. Um, Can you even try to turn it on? <laughs> <at all? laughs> Would I know of anyone that we might have in common? Like anybody famous from where I'm oh. from or well known that might have done uh, diplomacy or something somewhere else? Um, make a, make a history check for me. I just dropped a pin and caught it with my toe. <laughs> Congrats. <you>. Natural one. <laughs> um, we'll just drop a pin and caught it with his foot. I get a plus eight to history stabbed. too. <laughs> his so pin sad. stabbed him. Yeah. Although, although, uh, That's she's a lot of mentioned, fog. although she's mentioned to you that it's likely she, uh, she is related to you somewhere down the line and that Vitnika and this place were probably connected at one point. Um, no names come to mind and uh, it's a lot what, of what history there there was. Yeah, you're not, you're not quite sure of. <laughs> <laughs> Some brain fog. <laughs> um, as... You all stand uh, contemplating what's happened. Ilaniel turns to you all, uh, trying to fight back tears. As stoic as she's been through most of this and as uh, easy as it's been for her to come to grips with uh, the death of her daughter, you can tell that this is still taking some emotional toll on her. Um, she turns to all of you and says has that helped in any way I is there anything more that I can do for you two things this is Morgan Alex uh huh wiggle your mic cable is it doing it again just a little not bit not nearly wobble as much baby. as yeah, wobble, baby. wobble baby wobble girl okay and also check your texts okay <laughs> okay 
and then we'll pause until you read that. <laughs> this is off of what you asked me last night. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking I'm, I'm about looking, what Sam said. I'm looking like, in the you group. You were too. Nope. <laughs> I was like, I'm what? <laughs> sorry. Like, were you talking about me being gassy? Full, let's sorry. Yeah, full disclosure. <laughs> sorry. Full no, disclosure, I texted Sam Alex bro separately. Texted in our group I'm sorry. <laughs> that he's gassy. And so I'm reading this like super confused. And you're like, like why I'm is sorry. this important? Why else is this so important? <laughs> I'm sorry. I texted you individually. <laughs> Sorry. Secrets out, Sam. Yeah. I was trying to be secretive about it. Nope. Sorry, it wasn't my intention. Or you blasting intention. it out. It wasn't my intention. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's fine. Oh, no. Sam's turning red. No, just kidding. <laughs> just because um, I'm stuffing. He's passing wind, is what he's saying. Morgan, it's all good. I, I saw what you said. It's all good. Okay. I meddled. You meddled. And then it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. All right. <laughs> this is D&D, &D, babe. Okay. Um, Ellen, uh, Ellen Hill stands uh, without an answer to her question. I would have said, uh, Cheryl would have, yes, it was, if anything, helpful for us to know that uh, we might need to find our answers elsewhere. Very well. I I do have a question, if you don't mind. Not at all. You said you... You can reach anyone who passes with this, or is there a certain place, a certain person you can't... I, I don't mean to bring up uh, fresh wounds, but the fact that you can't reach self does that mean she's not here does that mean she's still with us does that what is it what does that mean to you my best guess would be that the sylph is somewhere else my first thought would be that she's still with us still in the world of the living but as i've been assured it's by you all that's not the case. Can you try to reach me through the portal? Reach if we you. get the same reaction, then we know that she might still be on this plane. It wouldn't work if you're still alive. I don't... Yes, but would it just not work, or would it... it kind of work. work like it did with when you tried to reach Sylph? Um, that is pretty consistent with what we've come to expect of contacting the living through this, through these means. Sorry, my headphone fell out of my ear. Did, Sam, did you ask if you're not in the same plane, if it would not work? Basically Sam, no. like, <clears throat> can we, we, or that Sam or me, Sam? You. Me. I was basically just asking, like, if you tried to contact me, we know where I am. Yeah. Would it do the same thing? Got it. You know? Like, yeah. can we use that to test the reaction of the portal? To know if maybe she's, like, stuck in between, and that's why it's kind of reaching her, or if, like, that's just what happens with anybody who's alive. Gotcha. Do you have anyone here who... Um... Who is, uh... Well-researched on other planes, other areas um we have as odd as it may sound we still have like essentially sediment and some dirt and such from the area that we were in um and i wonder if if anybody may know of it and could test that information and possibly discern where we saw silk last Perhaps Arbane, my husband, could be of help to you. His study is mostly to do with um, our ability to contact the dead, but um, 
from a more scientific standpoint, less of a spiritual one. I think then it's possible to include him, but um, I don't want to rush it. We do have a few more days that we could try to communicate. Uh, Is there a time limit? To using the mist. How soon you can communicate or how late you can communicate? There isn't um, any particular time limit, no. But only one person can be brought back at a time. That seems to be the only limitation. Aside from, of course, someone with the gift needs to be the one to summon them. Otherwise, no telling what could happen. There was talk about us possibly having the gift. Is there any way to test that? Well, I would... I would ask for whoever we would be testing to try and call forth um, a memory as opposed to a person first. And I'd prefer that we didn't do it here where the powers of the mist are so potent. Wouldn't you want to do it here, as there's more connected here? Well, assuming something might go wrong. <coughs> what could get stirred up here, what could be called forth, would be that much more powerful. Uh, Alex? I would like to use one of my uh, uh, true sight charges for the day. Okay. One of your eyeball slots? One of my eyeball slots. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. That's what I'm going to call it for now. You're welcome. Um, written like into the background stuff, so I will keep a track somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> I haven't put it in D and D Beyond yet, so um, I don't know how to like track it just yet. Um, but I, yeah, I'd I'd like to spend a charge um, and just kind of like observe the area. Okay. Um, you know, see what's going on. You close your eyes, and your third eye opens uh, as it glows. It uh, blooms in the light, catching the mist. Um, surrounding you. Uh, although you're not in the thickest part, there is still a very uh, humid state in the atmosphere. And as your third eye does open, um, your what little mist there is clears up. Um, you're able to see 120 feet all the way around you, even through the thickest parts of the mist. Uh, make a perception check for me. He's writing. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know which one to use. <laughs> Natural 20? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the build up was big. I was so afraid. <laughs> oh, that'd be a natural 20. <laughs> As she does. <laughs> Yay! Uh, plus, um, I don't know, a lot. Eight or something. As you look around, plus you seven. not only are able to see clearly through the mist, um, but you're able to see small details, such as uh, the, the finer... Uh, strands of hair that have uh, fallen out of place in uh, on, on the head of Elenil, um, indicating a, a bit more uh, dishevelment than you might have originally thought. Um, and as she you... Found out her daughter died last night. Yeah. She seemed pretty well put together, but you're, you're now piecing together that, you know, she's used to keeping her emotions in check. Continuing to look Poor around Ellen. in your surroundings, 
you don't see any other elves um, or creatures necessarily, but you do notice um, spirits of various shapes kind of floating through the mist, uh, appearing and disappearing as they go. Um, as you continue to turn and scan your surroundings in 360 degrees, you see one such spirit standing behind you and you're almost startled for a moment, but you come to realize that it is your spirit guardian um, oh. just watching over you. <laughs> what up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> is this the first time you've seen her? No, I've seen her before. Okay. But not this close. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Make a secret handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You reach out and give you give your spirit guardian a fist bump. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Are you punching the mist? <laughs> it's my it's my spirit guardian. She's standing right here with us. What's Nobody your else name? can see it. <laughs> <Where>? <laughs> They're standing right there. I think she had too much mist. <laughs> do they always are they do they always follow you? I don't really know. How many days away are we from our meeting with whoever? <laughs> um <laughs> like how how much time do you have left? Yeah. Uh I believe 9 days. So like basically 8 days and some change because you're partway through today. How many days travel is it to the next location. The Sojit Empire? That. Yes. Uh, well, I have notes. Yeah, actually, Morgan, if you want to pull up the uh, the map scene, the just map. for the viewers. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> it's, 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 it's the map. It's the map. It's the map. It's the type of premium <laughs> content you get if you're a viewer. So you're welcome. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to um, our map. This so now that map. you guys know where um, Mist Keep I is, I can send it in the Discord if you guys want an updated one because Alex updated it. Yes. Okay. No, we don't want that. Don't send I it. I mean, y'all should be able to see it on the stream too. Please it don't might send be a little it. delayed, but, uh, don't, but yeah, don't send it, Morgan. Be able to see it bigger. Don't send it. Yeah, that's fine. Sam, don't listen to Sam. Oh my god, <laughs> I hate this keyboard so much. I know it's terrible. Everything <laughs> keeps like minimizing as I'm trying to scroll. It's very fun. Uh, We'll upgrade it one day. <laughs> one day. All right, so we're in Mistkeep. Yep. And we're trying to get down to the Sojit Empire, so it looks like we're going to have to go close Swamming. to the Rivervale Forest. Yeah, so there are multiple ways to get there, obviously. Um, if you wanted to, you could potentially take a shortcut through the water. Um, if you were able to find a ship or... You know, do something to What's get that there. Little, like dot island thing off the like by the K on Miss Keep. An island. Um, it's it's just an island. Did we go there? You did not. No. Okay, it's just there. It is it is a landmass uh, that, as you understand, it is uh, not populated. Okay. Um, but where you're specifically trying to get to is uh, Kinmatoro which is the um, capital of the Sochi Empire. Um, That's so where the emperor lives. If we cross the water, then we probably have to cross through those mountains. So. Or else we go down on the left side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, by Rivervale Forest. By Lakewood. Yeah, I think that's probably our safest bet. Yeah. Well, I'm in the water, too. You could go in that little inlet. Oh, yeah. So basically, if, if you go through the water... Um, you'd be able to reach the capital in probably maybe three days. If you go by land, it would probably take a bit longer, okay. more like four days. We can probably go by water then. I'm going to switch. It, either way, we have nine. Yeah, I'll switch the camera back to me, but if you guys need yeah. to see the map big or something, let me know. Yep. Um, Just, I'm proud of that map. It's really nice. It's funny because <laughs> I know you hadn't created the Sojit Empire yet, but like when the whole time we were in Aragon, we were all like, what's east of here? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, y'all could have gone over there. 
<laughs> I know, but like there was nothing on the map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, I, I mean, if we're talking about which way we're going to go, I would say that we should take the water until... I'm, I can't get the words out. I don't want to go through mountains, basically, is what I'm saying. So I don't really care which way we go, but I don't want to cross through the mountains again. Got it. I cool. think we were talk. Weren't we talking about trying to find somebody, one of us who has the gift or whatever? Oh yeah, before we. Yeah, I was just seeing how many days we could burn here, trying to figure that out before we left. Yeah, it looks like we could burn quite a few. So. We can burn at least one. We could have searched a whole. You like a couple of times. We could have like that. climbed up a mountain. Yeah, we could have searched all that <laughs> shit up on the mountain, man. <laughs> Y'all are wrong. Yeah, you guys suck. <laughs> I hope I'm the one that has the gift. The time, the time <laughs> up. I think we're right about this. <laughs> <laughs> so all these little uh, mic arms, all the empty ones that don't have mics on them, all look like they're just flipping me off right now. And that's like how I feel about you guys not letting me go up that mountain. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Yeah. I'm going to take a You're picture. You're welcome to walk right back to it. Well, not without my friends. <laughs> without my friends. Looking like... Looking... Doesn't it just look like a bunch of middle fingers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. We all, all right. see it. So, are we trying to figure out if one of us has the gift? How would we go about doing that? She just said she don't want to do it here. Yeah, she mentioned that she would prefer to do it away from the most powerful part of the mist. Okay. Um, and she would test you by having you try to call forth a memory as opposed to a person. Okay. A vision of sorts. Fine, let's go do a memory that. memory is just, you know, it's still, it's, it's something that is dead to be brought wouldn't, back. Wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it be better to try it here, where they would be closer to us? Potentially, your success in recalling the memory itself would be higher, but I, as I said, if something were to go wrong, no telling what could happen. Um, I know this might seem like an odd question, but I was wondering if if we do this, could we actually just go one by one with you rather than as a group? One by one out of this place? Yeah, I think, um, I think I, I think a lot of these memories are going to be really personal to try to pull this kind of gift out from the depths of us if we do have it and I'm just wondering if that would be allowed to do that alone because it seems like it's going to be very intimate I would certainly be on board for that but I would prefer not to leave any of you um, as you are relative oh. strangers I, I would prefer not to leave any of you here Sure. I mean, you know, we could go back to like we're going to be in to, yeah to wherever you're comfortable with. I mean, I when we recall these memories, do we have to speak it out loud, or are we just thinking it? Assuming you have the gift, the memories should take form in mm. front of you. Interesting. Well, let's go then. Don't have a lot of time to waste. Actually, we we could give her some time <clears throat> she did just can you can you something. show us I don't mean to intrude can you show us again ooh is my true sight still you... up what um, can you bring someone back yes I don't think I understand very well One moment. She turns back and walks to the base of the pool that now glows with energy. She closes her eyes, and as she does, the water begins to form, combining with the surrounding mist as it swirls around. Um, 
it forms a silhouette of a person and as that silhouette gains finer features and comes into focus for the rest of you you see someone who looks quite similar to Elenil. you see an elf much younger than her and as you study her features with Elenil right beside her, you begin to gather that this must be Lura, her sister. Um, when that was happening, Alex, did I mm -hmm. like <clears throat> observe anything different with the true sight? Like to where trying to see if I can get an understanding, like a better understanding, um, uh, like arcane wise of how that works with like the ethereal kind of sight of it. Does that make sense? One more time. Sorry. Oh, you're okay. Sam <laughs> sent a text as soon as Becca started yes. explaining it and then Alex no, I, read the yeah, text I'm aware. Of listening. It was it was it was important. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> um yeah I'm trying to see if uh like I'm, I'm trying to see if, like, as that is happening, if there's something else about the way that they are recalling the memory and pulling that person. If there's something that the true sight can see. Right. Um, <clears throat> with your true sight activated and with the ridiculous perception check that you got, you can see that uh, the pool does glow more brightly, um, and although it's constantly shifting in color whenever it's not in use whenever it is in use it turns a very particular color as the uh uh as the person that's called is taking form um you gather that uh this has to do with which plane of existence it is connecting to mm, and okay. it's it's part portal and um part like shape-shifting device it's not necessarily <sighs> bringing them across the planes but it is a very interesting way to communicate it is yeah Ooh, okay i would like to like like walk a little bit and just like observe it while she's like talking to her sister with your true sight active and again with your high perception the the image of her sister is nearly perfect, but you do occasionally catch ripples that glide across her skin uh, as the water that is holding her form uh, moves as she does. Um, occasionally you catch small glimmers of light off of uh, her skin and her clothing. Um, again, as the water ripples a bit and catches the light. And, and does... I think I remember correctly that they do, but I do want to ask just in case. Does the person who's being called upon, do they see others as well, or do they only see the person calling upon them? They see they see others. Okay. Uh, Eamos talked to all of you. and yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So they're basically able to interact with everybody in the immediate vicinity. So cool. Oh. Can you ask her if she's seen your daughter? Laura uh, looks to Elenil a bit concerned, um, and Elenil uh, takes a deep breath and says, This is the second time I've had to put this into words, but I've received news that Sylph has passed on, but I've been unable to contact her. I don't want to worry you, as I've also received news that Thiel is safe. But I am worried. And before she even finishes her sentence, Laura just gives her a big, a big hug. Um, you can see that while Elenil is very refined, uh, very composed, Laura is uh, a bit more of a uh, emotional uh, free thinker, free spirit. Is Laura 
Theo's mom? She is. Okay. And so you do see a bit of a resemblance. Um, the jet black hair, for example, um, her finer uh, details, such as like, like the shade of her skin color. Um, yeah. It's not exactly like Theo, but she doesn't have horns yeah. after all. <laughs> um, as she embraces Elenil, she says, Sister, I'm sure it's all right. I, I haven't seen anything from my side, but I'm sure, I'm sure she's made it. I, are you sure that she's passed on? Elenil nods her head. I'm quite sure, although I suppose there could have been a mistake. But I I worry to give myself too much hope. What if she's imperiled and I... Um, Lura stops her. She, she says, No, no, no. You mustn't think of that. You've done all that you can, and I'll do all that I can from my side. If there's any way that I can guide her across, perhaps. You know, of course, that I'll do anything. I'm sure there's some things that I can try. And she seems somewhat consoled by Laura's words. Arsene was just going to say out loud to everybody else, like, and actually it's really just to Morgan, uh, or to Taffy and Sarnorin. What if, what if she did, what if she did make it out? Because she placed the amulet on somebody else. Yeah. What if, I mean, yeah. uh, Well, no, I mean, no, because, uh, the, the I I think that what Alex had said last game is that like we recognized that like that that's what they looked like. Got it. So, I'm what if low. she did make it out just the same way that? I'm afraid it's much worse. Theo made it out. I mean, I believe her soul is being imprisoned. In or that she was brought in a similar fashion to other people we know. Right. But the plane we were in <clears throat> did not belong to anyone of repute, so... But Elwind has been closely connected to a lot of this. It's possible he found out about Theo. Or at That's... least... But Theo wasn't what, dead. The, the... Well, when we or at least that there was, there was some secretive mission that his people were on. He might have feared that they were after him and wanted answers from the dead and brought her back to life. I wasn't there, obviously, though, so I'm just going off of my own limited knowledge. No, that makes sense. Elowind has had some something to gain for a long time, and we've been saying there has to be somebody connected to the king that is that is corrupting a lot of what has been going on. I, I'm confused, so if you're waiting for an input from me... That one's the one that brought you <laughs> And uh, I just suggested that maybe she was dead and Elwyn or someone else of similar power brought, brought her back her to back. life. I'm just confused on how anybody would have gotten her body if it was in that space. Well, what I was wondering is if everybody got like essentially shunted out of that space. Okay, because yeah, when because... Balafar tackled Theo, um, I don't remember what their name was in that area, but when Balafar tackled them, like that's what knocked us all out of there. Well, and that's like, that's kind of why I, I was <laughs> stuck and confused of you saying like, maybe she didn't die um, because the guard is here. And like 
who is that again, Alex? You know, I'm talking about the guard that we had to like fight to get into the. Uh, SF Quay. SF is here, but he like didn't come with us. So is that your theory that she like wasn't dead there? Or, yeah. Like, okay, so she could be in a state like SF to where she's like that, kind of in a yeah. coma. Yeah, that's kind of okay. what I was wondering. Is it is it yeah like like either that or like similar to what um, Sam was saying, just that somebody brought her back. Okay. And honestly, it would make a lot of sense that it would be that Elowen would find out in some way. Yeah. Or, or like like Will had said, like that her soul is trapped in some kind of weird in between mm-hmm. way. That's that's also why Cheryl was like, "Can you bring me back? Like, does it look different in any way?" Trying to bring your daughter back. Because it might be a telltale sign that she's stuck between somewhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But how would we know? Who's to say? Who's to say? <laughs> how would they know? They're going to know. Never, they're never going to know. As, they're going to know. <laughs> as you all discuss this, I need um, Arsinoe, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Cheryl, Balls. and... <laughs> uh, Sarnorin to make intelligence saving throws. We've been talking about everything. Sixteen for me. Okay. Twenty-seven. Oh wow! Don't fuck with a book reader. Fourteen for me. Sports. Okay. As you all are discussing this, um, Arsenoe, a specific image pops into your mind of whenever you all fought against Sylph's undead form. And as you hurriedly try and shunt the memory away, uh, knowing what it could do in this place. This is about to be traumatizing. (laughs) A skeletal form appears in front of you all. Uh, Sarnorin, who has kept his wits about him, turns to face the form and the feeling that comes over you is hard to describe. It's it's almost as if you simply willed the creature not to be there. Willed. And just as it began to, uh, just as its bones began to creak to life and stir, its face turned towards you all and it faded into mist instantly. Whoa. So who brought that back? Becca did. You too. Becca brought it back. Will stopped it, and Cheryl just went. Well, we wouldn't know that she did. Yeah, how would y'all know it was me? Nobody's gonna know. Yeah, like as uh, seeing what seeing what's occurred. Um, Eleniel looks at all of you and she says, "Perhaps it's best that we leave this place while we make idle chat." Probably so. She turns to Laura and Laura says, "I should be going too." I. Uh, I'll try a few things from my end, and um, we'll talk later. I, so, how would I we hope, know that it was? Becca? I hope for the best. You wouldn't. I, there's no, y'all, we do. y'all don't know that. No yeah, one knows. How, that <laughs> how Our do characters we know that? Your characters, Our characters do don't. not know. That's, that's what I'm and saying. Your like, characters also this us no. I, I understand that our characters don't know that. How would I, as Morgan, know that? Because I also don't he fucking just, know that. Alex, don't just know because she rolled the lowest out of everybody. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, sorry. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm just trying to like yeah, tell you. Yeah, she you rolled guys... the lowest, and I had. I had said. I had said uh, that it was Becca. Yeah, I rolled a fourteen. I didn't hear you say it was Becca. That's why I was really confused. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's all good. <laughs> um, hurriedly rushing back to when she came, uh, Lura makes her way back to the pool, and instantly. Uh, you can tell that she's she's used to being brought back um, because she doesn't make any grandiose gesture of it. She basically rushes back up. Yeah, the... his voice is like really low. Me? The oh. <laughs> star. She thought we were muted. Oh. Sorry. We were we were uh-huh. we were turning up Sam's because of your 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 character voice. We couldn't hear oh. you. Oh. Me? We Sorry. got you. We we yeah. we were just turning we're good. up, but we like I thought we were muted again. <laughs> I thought we were muted. <laughs> She uh, she rushes back up to the fountain and basically just runs straight in, um, and Who'd... you see her, Laura, spread out into water and mist. Yeah, can I, uh, can I incite 
check to see how she reacted. I know it's a little late, so if you say no, it's perfectly fine. How she reacted whenever they, she was told of the the death of daughter. It wasn't her daughter. It was. It would have uh, been yeah, her no, niece. But yeah, but yeah. Uh, the, uh, someone's daughter. Yeah, I'll allow that. Wow, plus nine to insight, and I got an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't seem like she's hiding anything. Um, she's got no reason to. After all, she's not part of the living world anymore. She was upset, but genuinely wanted to help in any way that she could. Um. As just as soon as Laura's form vanishes into the mist, um, Elanil begins to gesture for all of you to uh, follow her and make your way back out of this circle in the mist. You follow? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I'll um, be the last to go, and as they if she doesn't step away or if she does I'm gonna turn step up where she just was and uh, call out for Aaron Duff who is that do we do we hear this <laughs> um I never left are you who is that Ren hey, make Ren. a Aaron, you, you don't, we don't know Morgan yeah I'm, I'm just, just gonna I'm it. gonna do what like try to mimic exactly what she did but say uh, Aaron Dov and think on her as much as I can. Ren, make oh, a stealth wife? check. No. Oh, uh, here's a luck. Yeah. Oh, we also have a seven in the chat from last week if you need to use it. Yes. That you can and add. I think Adam Seeker gave us a, a plus or a 20 advantage on 20. Yeah, uh, Beck already <clears throat> used the natural 20. Nice. But we have a 7 la left from last week if anyone needs to add it. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so a non natural 20, right? Yes, non natural. I'm not trying to like, I'm, I'm trying to get up there quietly, but I'm fine if they hear me do it. So Elenia was leading them out, so she would have been at the front of the group. Um, it's reasonable to say that nobody would have been able to stop you. But in doing it this way, nobody really has noticed um, that you've made your way up um, to the fountain, to the pool. Um, Alex, move your now phone. Now that you're... No, I was saying move it. It was... Move it. Yeah, oh, it. sorry. I mean, it's like across the table. It's nowhere oh, okay. near anything. Okay, you're but... good. Then keep going. Um, now that you're up near the pool and trying to contact this person um make an arcana check oh so i know we didn't hear him get up to the altar but when he calls out her name um make a perception check to see if you 14 can we all make perception 14 checks yes <clears throat> i'm not um, being quiet anymore. i'm gonna yeah i uh, will say we'll say that you guys are able to notice him call Okay. Just to simplify that. Um, as you call out this person's name, you see the water begin to rise in front of you. It swirls as uh, the mist joins with it. And for a moment, you turn back to see uh, the others. And as pale as Elanil's skin is you've never seen it quite as pale as this as you turn back forward to face what you've brought from the other side you see a shade covered in white wispy robes as it screams into your face right in front Oops. of you 